In this Dragonfly 4.1 training video, we're going to look at the Visual Plane Control Panel. The demo data set we're using here is a micro CT scan of a walnut that comes from the Volrine project hosted at the University of Munster website. The Visual Plane module in Dragonfly allows you to apply clipping to a 3D scene using one of the 2D views as the geometry for performing the clipping. To get access to the Visual Plane control panel, first go to the main menu and scroll down till you find the Shapes control panel. In the Shapes control panel, you will find two Create a Plane action buttons. The first action button allows you to create one plane at a time and as many as you want. The second action button will provide you as many planes as you have views in your selected scene. In this example, we have a scene that has three 2D view or MPR views and one 3D view. Every planes that you create is now listed in the object list on your right side. These planes all have their visual plane control panel. This control panel allows me to take what I'm seeing in a different MPR views and see it in the 3D view. It allows me to apply clip operation based on my MPR view settings. You see in this workspace, I have three different MPR views. For each one of them, I have a separate visual plane. You see here that this visual plane or MPR has a pink indicator. This one has a blue or cyan indicator and this one is green. You see the same pink, green and cyan indicator here. You also see them labeled with text top right view, bottom left view and bottom right view. In order to turn on the visual plane for the top right view I just click this checkbox. What we see here is how this MPR view exists in my three-dimensional coordinate system. This allows me to see exactly where this view is. Sometimes I may slice up and slice down and now I can see exactly where that is in my coordinate system. Sometimes I may adjust the yaw or adjust the pitch and now I can see exactly where that is in my 3D coordinate system. You can have multiple visual planes loaded at the same time if you want to see where they all are. When you create these planes you can enable the plane and with the plane selected you can tell Dragonfly to orient this plane on a particular axis. The visual plane module in Dragonfly allows you to apply clipping to a 3D scene using one of the 2D views as the geometry for performing the clipping. You can select a plane, select what you want to modify and then turn on clipping. So here you have a clipping plane inside your 3D view and the clipping plane is controlled by the yaw and the pitch and the slice number of this individual MPR view. The handle allows me to adjust the clip plane interactively in the 3D view by grabbing on the shaft of the handle. This allows me to very easily do the same thing I would do here but I can do it from the 3D view. So if I happen to double click on the 3D view I can still change the slice without having to use that slice indicator or that slice text presenter over here. So it's very convenient to be able to grab it. If you have the handle shown you can also grab the tip of the handle to change the oblique just by grabbing and dragging. So that's the behavior of the handle. Note, you can apply the selected effects to the outside or inside of the visual plane by checking or unchecking the outside option. You can see the behavior of the outside button which will allow me to clip from the other direction and then it updates in the 3D view. I can invert back by clicking the outside button again. When in this way, you can have it clip more than one object in the scene or have it select a clip just a few objects in the scene. So that's how you apply clipping in Dragonfly 3.5 and higher. 
On your right side, there is a Show Data checkbox. You may recall that in Dragonfly, your MPR views have separate window level settings and separate LUT or lookup table. And of course, what's seen on this plane is going to be a reflection of the brightness and contrast of individual slice view. So, if you have a grayscale for your MPR views, that's why when you turn on data, you are taking the exact image that you see here in mapping in the 3D. If I adjust the grayscale window level, then I can have some transparency. So now I can see this mapped into my 3D view. That's the function of the data checkbox. In addition to letting your interactively clip image data, regions of interest, multi roys and meshes, additional visual effects can also be applied to the clipped region of selected object such as lookup table functions, edge contrast and window leveling. Each visual plane has these plane properties so you have complete flexibility and you can have as many visual planes as you have MPR views in the scene. So the MPR view used with the visual plane control panel allows you to very interactive and revealing clip into your data and of course you can always overlay the data so that summarizes what we want to see with the visual plane feature in Dragonfly 4.1 thank you <laughs>